changes to Evelyn, Graves, Corky, and more, covered in this episode of the Patch Preview. Thanks for joining us, Summoners. I'm Freak, and this week, we're with a new face, one of your favorite designers, Feral Pony. Together, we'll be discussing some of the most important changes coming into the next update for League of Legends. While this video does not cover every single change, it will explain the thought process behind some of our decisions. In this patch, we're going to be making a change to the Abyssal Scepter item. What's our change and why are we doing it? So we initially designed Abyssal Scepter as an item for AP tanks and really short range casters, like Diana and Amumu. But due to the long range of the aura, it ended up being extremely effective on almost any caster, regardless of their build or their opponent. We really wanted to keep the item's core identity intact and keep it just as effective for those short range casters and tanks that really needed the damage and survivability it provides. So as a result, we're going to be reducing the range of the R to make it less effective for those longer range champions and a little bit more of a niche pick. Diana's been out for a few weeks, and after our players have really gotten accustomed to her, it's turned out she is stronger than we anticipated. We're nerfing her next patch, but what are we hitting and why? Diana's just a little bit too strong in general. Her burst damage, sustain damage, and survivability is just overall too high when compared to other champions. So we're making a few changes to bring her more in line, but keep her strong in competitive play. So first, we're going to be tuning down Diana's natural health regeneration. She's a champion who already has a shield, and she should really be using that to block incoming damage. She doesn't also need really high base stats. Additionally, the damage and AP ratio of Crescent Strike is coming down a little bit. It was simply dealing too much damage, and lowering this should leave her in a much more balanced state. Our live designer spent some time looking at our top three attack damage carries, Graves, Corky, and Ezreal. The goal of these changes is to leave carries with obvious strengths, but also obvious weaknesses. Let's start with Graves. We're targeting his attack speed. Why does this make sense thematically for Graves? Graves is a cowboy with a giant shotgun. He jumps in and buckshots you in the face, and this gives him a lot of early game power. The problem is that he doesn't have enough late game trade-offs, so we're reducing the attack speed off of quick draw and a little bit off of his base attack speed. This should give him those early versus late game trade-offs. So ultimately, this should make him a really strong early game champion and give him those trade-offs so he's not a no-brainer. Let's move on to Corky. Right now, he's just too damn good at everything. So in this patch, we're nerfing his mobility and poke potential. What are we changing and why? One of the things that makes Corky probably the most fun to play is the fact of how much area of effect damage and how much burst damage he brings to a fight. He excels at this role over pretty much every other carry in our game. But overall, his power level is just a bit too high, so we're siphoning off some of the power from his mobility and his long-range poke while still retaining the fun elements of Corky. So we're increasing the cooldown on Valkyrie a little bit, so that way he just jumps around a little bit less in teamfights and relies more on proper positioning. Yeah, in combination with Corky's other strengths, his long-range harass was a little bit too strong because he had missiles up all the time. Like, the, he was just generating ammo too quickly. As a result, we're going to increase the time it takes him to generate a missile, but we're keeping the number of missiles the same. So we'll still be able to put out tons of damage and bring a lot to the team. Ezreal's really known for long range poke, high mobility, and of course, pulse fire energy. This patch, we're looking at nerfing Essence Flux and buffing Mystic Shot. What is this gonna do for Ezreal? Uh, so the first thing we're doing with Essence Flux is we're reducing the width of the missile a bit. Essence Flux was kind of a no brainer pick in lane, the actual width of the missile actually was bigger than the visual effect, so people, even when they thought they dodged it, would still get hit with it. This in combination with really high base damage, low mana cost, and uh, you know the ability to pass over minions made it really, really strong and lacked a lot of counterplay for your opponent. A lot of players really like kind of hybrid Ezreal or AP Ezreal, and we didn't really want to indirectly hurt those builds that aren't really being a problem. So we ended up increasing the AP ratio and Essence Flux quite a bit, so those players will actually end up seeing an increase in damage late game. Mystic Shot is really Ezreal's most fun basic ability, um, but the mana cost was a little bit too high, and it caused him to resort to other abilities. Mystic Shot allows him to kind of have this long range poke and harass gameplay, which is really, really fun in lane, and we wanted to encourage that and not punish Ezreal players for casting too many Mystic Shots. We recently remade Evelyn's abilities, and she got a lot better, but she's still a little bit too weak. What are we doing this patch to bring her up to speed? So we're really happy with Evelyn's overall design and the new gameplay she brings, but she needs a few improvements to kind of bring her up to par with other champions. So the first thing we're doing is improving her mobility. 
We've lowered the cooldown time on Dark Frenzy and gave her the ability to pass through minions so that Evelyn can get closer to her enemies faster while this ability is active. We've also made a few adjustments to her stealth, making it so that she can get closer to her enemies before being detected. So to improve her viability in teamfights late game, we've significantly lowered the second and third rank of her ultimate's cooldown. These changes to Evelyn should help her early ganking as well as her ability to contribute more in teamfights late game. That's it for this episode of the League of Legends patch preview. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above and leave us your comments just below the video. Thanks for watching.